Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can change the layout or the appearance of a screen or a control uh, by uh, using condition expression. So now let's say if we change the value of this field from a priority of this asset from 3 to 1, then uh, it will make uh, this field disappear, for example, and if it is uh, not 1, like number two or number three then uh, it will make this field display so uh, what we can do is we can go to our uh, go to the administration module and go to conditional expression manager to create a new condition first so now let's uh, click on a new row here okay and now I uh, will leave it default here and uh, priority. This is just a description of a component asset priority default one. And now here in the expression, we can write a variable priority equal one. So in this case, it will go to uh, when we open a, an asset, it can use the value from the priority field and check if it's equal to number one. And I click on the always evaluate because I want it to uh, automatically update and evaluate every time I change the uh, fields values. If I don't check it, then it will only check every time it initializes the object only. Now I'm going to save it. I'm gonna have to remember the ID of that condition. Uh, so, yeah, it's a one o o one. All right. So now let's go to our application designer and open the asset application. And now go to the asset tab. So what we are saying earlier is. Uh, we want to make this field hidden. We want to hide this field every time uh, we set priority to one. So what we can do is we can right click here and to properties and go to the advanced tab. So let's assign this uh, field to a signature. So in this case, I'm gonna make it very simple by assigning it to the read signature option, which I know is that it is always assigned to anyone who can open this application. I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna click on this button. Uh, how do I open it, make it wider, yeah. Config conditional properties, click on it. And now what I can do is I can select a group and let's say I make it apply to everyone. So I'm gonna choose the uh, I don't have the everyone group here. I will do it again. I will make it everyone. Right. So uh, for the security group, everyone, I'm gonna use the condition 1001. So it will display the expression here, but that's okay. I will just leave it there. And now down below, what I can do is I enter a property. This is a property of the control. So what I can do is I'm going to choose the display. I'm going to, if, if the condition is true, then I'm going to make it display equal false. And if the condition is false, then uh, display will be true. And now I'm gonna save it. Now I'm going to open the asset application again and try to see if it works. So now I'm gonna set it to one. So uh, because this is, I need to update. Yeah, it disappeared. The reason that I need to make some other change is because this field is asynchronous. So yeah. Sometimes it doesn't update uh, immediately. Yep, you can see. Yep. 
So if I make that field synchronous, it will accent uh, immediately after I leave the field. Let me change that again. And go here. I'm gonna set this uh, to always synchronous. Yep. And then uh, save it. Now let me quickly see if it works. Yeah, you can see that every time I change the value of the field, then it will re-evaluate the condition and make this field disappear or appear again, right? And now let's say if we want to, every time we set this field to one or two, then it also make this field to have different fonts as well. So that's what we can do. in application designer as well so let's quickly define another condition now let me quickly add another condition so now let's add that priority equal to okay so now i'm gonna set it priority equal to i'm gonna choose always evaluate as well i'm going to save it and now let's go back to our application designer application and open the asset application okay so i'm going to right click on this field again and going to the advanced start and going to config conditional properties and now down below here for the same signature option for the same group I'm gonna add a new condition right so for priority equal to then I'm going to make this field having a red color for example so I'm gonna do the red click okay I'm gonna save it and now let's uh, quickly see if it works by opening a record and set it number two i'm gonna have to write something down here as well yep so it is red now so if i type three it become black if i type it one it will i don't know why it, it should up disappear it's, it's funny but yeah, so that's uh, you get the idea like uh, how to use uh, conditional expression manager and uh, conditional UI to change the behavior of a front end.